Hello YouTubers and welcome aboard. I am Noob Flyboy X and welcome back to F1 2018 Career Mode. It's not going to be a whole lot of these left. We're in the last third of the season as we set our first time in qualifying for the Singapore Grand Prix. And it is beginning to rain, which is a shadow of things to come in the race itself. But the reason I mainly say we're not going to have too many more of these as we get through qualifying one is that I have F1 2020 with me now. So this will officially be the last season of F1 2018 Career Mode. But more career mode is coming. I can promise you that much. I'm not sure how much, but I will be continuing with career mode. Even as now, it's not looking so great as we end in 14th in qualifying 2 and don't progress, but we're looking to make some progress in the race itself. As the sun sets over the South China Sea, the sport that never sleeps is alert and raring to go. Welcome, under the bright lights of the Marina Bay circuit, to another Singapore Grand Prix. It's a very long, very physical lap, this one, and really there's not much in the way of margin for error. So we have a bit of an endurance race for you tonight. Well then, after an exciting qualifying session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. Daniel Ricciardo starts from pole position today, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Hulkenberg, Perez, Fernando Alonso, and Ocon, Leclerc, Hartley, Stroll, and Sebastian Vettel. Gasly, Bottas, Iceman, and Sainz. Verstappen, they've taken a grid penalty. Grosjean, Kevin Magnussen, and Stoffel van Dorn. Raikkonen, and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And now, it's time to head down to the track. We have a great chance of getting another points finish this race. Keep it clean, and hopefully we can work our way up the field. Right. Strategy needs to change for that to happen. Or we'll have to pit another time. of strategy so all I need to do is not fall back too much he's gonna pile up somewhere behind me and there's now a, a big gap behind Van Dorn for the next car DRS is look how Van Dorn we leaps off that last corner Even Van Dorn in that slow McLaren. The rain is a few laps out yet, but it is coming. Be careful. A few laps out. That's what he would say if it was actually a bit closer than the maps at the beginning of the race seem to indicate. There's so much slide going into that corner that he just doesn't have. There's a train forming up here that I can actually catch. Bunch of drivers in the pits. Ah, it's starting to rain. I'm going to be getting off these softs sooner than I expected, I think. Look how quick Riken is able to overtake. This is not just a problem with the tires. Oh, and he's locked up. Or Stefan is doing his damnedest to make his hype his last. There's the leader Ricardo in, and he's just coming out in front of me there. He's made the switch to softs.
He expects to go the race distance from here, but I don't think he will be able to. Stroll doing a brilliant job of again for the team here. Oh, the two Red Bulls are coming together just now. Yeah, it is getting very slippery. Right, here's the switch to enters. That much if you fuel. think you can get past, increase ERS deployment to overtake mode. Why now do I become three laps down? Uh, Max carrying on still? What's he doing? Okay, I am very confused how I've lost this much fuel. Yeah, my stop's gonna be slow because my answer is in the pits recently. Exit now. You'll be racing as you leave the pits. Not that bad. Raz is not catching me as fast as I thought he would. Max has caught him. I'm slowly clawing my fuel back. Strategy option. Confirmed. Now what what the heck? We're going in. I have no idea if this is the right choice. The others appear to have carried on. We're going to be going back to Inters soon, probably. Go, go, go! You'll be racing on the exit. Pit strategy complete. See these tires through to the end now. I suspect not. And the snapping in real life, at least, is only madman in the in, un, in the wet conditions. Ricardo is stopping again. I think he just put on the intermediates in that last stop. So I'm up to up to fourth. Then going just ahead. Stappen's all over me, but he's not going to be able to make the move. Almost to the point where I can push and stop saving fuel. Almost. And do a little more. Okay, at this point I think Lean Revs will do the rest. Let's start pushing again. Back to enters it is. Bye. I'm going to get hell and I'm going to lose out to him. And I'll never see fourth place in this race again. Yep, lost it. Go, go and I'll never see that position again. Okay, gap ahead is 2.4 seconds. Tonight, there goes my championship rival. Weather report. No rain expected. No rain expected for the time being. It looks like the best time for now. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. Copy that.
if it can't all go to plan, bring her in. We'll go over what happened in the debrief. And I can see our drivers making their way out now. It's been a sublime team performance, and it's the culmination of a lot of hard work. Williams are your winners today. So it's Lance Stroll who picks up the win as I fall down the order after that failed gamble. That's really, really disappointing to me because I thought I had that in the bag. I didn't think two laps would be enough to lose as many positions as I did. I didn't think it would lose me any positions given the gap that a pit stop creates. But so much for that. However, there is a bright spot to be gained from this even as Lance Stroll beats me to actually having two wins in a row in Formula 1 and that bright spot is that I've actually extended my championship lead. Because Lewis Hamilton DNF'd, and because Valtteri Bottas is, uh, actually, well, he finished pretty well, but still, he's behind Lewis Hamilton, who is my immediate rival. So, I actually increased the lead as we head towards Russia, which historically has not been terrible for me in the Williams. It's got a lot of long straights, so I'm hoping I can do well there. We'll just have to see. Just have to keep up the positive energy and hope that we can carry on, even though I actually have also thrown away a chance at getting the Improvise Adapt Overcome trophy. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and have a nice day.